I like just about everything about the new Photoshop CS6 user interface. I like the dark tones, I like the icons and the layout, and general efficiency with space. But as a Windows 7 user, there's one thing that really bugs me, and that's the File Open dialog box. Luckily, it can mostly be fixed. When you use the File Open dialog in Photoshop CS5, it looked something like this. If you selected a raw image, then you'd get a nice little preview down at the bottom of the window. And of course, the same thing would happen if you selected a PSD file. You'd get a little image preview. But take a look at CS6. When I open a folder of raw images from the File Open menu, this is what I get. A bunch of generic icons, and if I click on one, the preview window is gone. If I wanted to select a particular image out of this folder, I'd pretty much have to have memorized the file numbers, and that's not very helpful. Now, I'm sure that our friends at Adobe did this with the assumption that if we needed to browse through images, we'd use bridge or mini bridge, but the fact is, there are some times when it's just faster and it makes more sense to quickly use the open dialog. For Mac users, this isn't a problem. The operating system can generate thumbnail images from raw files, so they don't need a preview window. So what can Windows users do? Well, the solution is actually pretty simple. Begin by pulling up a browser window and going to the Microsoft Download Center and looking for the Microsoft Camera Codec Pack. I'll put a link to this page down in the video description so it should be easy to get to. Installing this file will allow Windows to create preview images from raw files created by a lot of popular cameras. There is a list of supported cameras down below here from Canon, Nikon, Sony, etc. And if you want to check and see if your camera's there, before you download, you can certainly do that. And as you can see, there are two different versions of this codec pack. The one on top here with the 64 in the title is for 64-bit versions of Windows, and the one below it is for older 32-bit versions. And all you need to do is press download and follow the instructions. Uh, once you download the file, you just run it, and uh, it's a very simple, quick install. And then you will have to reboot Windows, and uh, now with my computer rebooted and Photoshop open again, if I go to the open dialog, all of these raw files now have nice little previews and as you can see, they generate quickly, almost instantly. Of course, that'll probably depend on your computer to some degree. Unfortunately, we still don't have any previews of Photoshop files, but just having previews for raw files is a big help. Alternatively, or additionally, I guess, um, you can use Mystic Thumbs, which will do the same sort of thing. It will give you thumbnail images from um, raw files, but it will also give you thumbnails from uh, a whole bunch of other different types of graphics programs, including Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, um, and a bunch of 3D programs. The only real downside here is that the program isn't free. It does have a $25 license fee for personal use, and it's a little bit more expensive for professional use. Not too bad, all things considered, but it's sometimes hard to spend extra money on something that probably should have been in the operating system or Photoshop to begin with. Whichever programs you decide to install, it should make using the new version of Photoshop just a little bit easier. And of course, it will do the same thing throughout Windows in general. You'll get the uh, useful little 
thumbnails uh, whenever you browse around within Windows. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for some of you, and uh, good luck installing it.